morning kids. This is for Wednesday. Hopefully my son is here by now. Uh, 7.4. This is the bell ringer. Uh, measure of W, 180 minus 95. Which is 85 degrees. Y. Let me read over that. It's got my boy. Uh, Jack Reacher on it. Uh, example one. When you draw an off series of hypotenuse of a right triangle, you can create three right triangles. How are the triangles related? That's a great question. So you have the description. No picture. So you should probably draw a picture. So we have the right triangle. Draw an altitude of the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So like so this is 90 degrees. Create three right triangles. How are the triangles related? So it's talking about it's talking about this triangle right here. It's talking about <coughs> talking about this triangle. Right here. And last but not least, it's talking about the big triangle that we originally drew. Right there. So let's label this. A, B, C. Call this D. And redraw the triangles. This will be the little one. This will be the little one. And the corner. Corner is D. This is A. This is B. This will be the little bit bigger one. To the right. And this is D. This is B. This is C. And this will be the big guy that we started with. Where this is A. This is B. And this is C. Now we know, of course, that all right angles are the same because they're all 90 degrees. So how are the triangles related? Well, what can we say? Do they share any angles? Absolutely. They all are incorporating A, and a B, and C. Um, so we know, we know that A has to be congruent to A. We know that C has to be congruent to C. And we know, we know that B has to be congruent to B. B has to be congruent to B. So now we have to think back to yesterday, two days ago, what different ways we can prove triangles to be similar. So we have AA, we have SSS, and SAS, similarity. So looking at these, from ADB, ADB to ABC, ABC, we can say that those are congruent by AA. By AA. So triangle ABD, right, similar, similar to triangle ABC, and also triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. And as a result, they'll all be similar to each other. So all triangles are similar. Done. Um, how is ACD related to CBD? ACD AC, ACD, well they labeled it differently than us, so it is not. Uh, given that PQR is similar to QSR, what is QS? So PQR, PQR, P, Q, R is similar to QSR, similar to Q, Q, 
to S R. What is QS? What is QS? This is what we're trying to find. We know that QR is 15. We know this is 9. We know that this is 20. 9, 15, 20. So we really don't even need to use similarity here. We can just use the Pythagorean theorem to evaluate 9 squared plus x squared equals 15 squared. Evaluate that. Uh, 9 squared is 81 plus x squared. 15 squared is 225. 225, 225 minus 81 is 144. If you're a math major, that means that x is equal to 12. Also known as qs. Try it. Refer to pqr, example 2. Write a proportion that you can use to solve for ps. ps. Yes, so we have for the PQR. So now it's asking to it's asking to use the big triangle. Big triangle, which is PQR, E Q R. And it's asking us then to use the little triangle on the left. So the little triangle on the left. 90, 90, and this would be this would be P this would be Q and this would be S it's asking us to write a proportion that you can use to solve for PS so we know that this is 20 we know that this is 20 and we know that we know that this is 12. So we can say, we can say that QP, QP would be um, X squared plus 12 squared is equal to C squared, where this is C. X squared plus 144 is equal to C squared and X squared square root of x squared plus 144 is equal to c. And then we can say that 20, 20 over square root of x squared plus 144 would be the ratio that we could then use to solve for ps. We could use to solve for ps. Uh, what is ps? That is a wonderful question. If you evaluated that, if you evaluated that, you would get 16. All right. Simple three. So given ACB, what is what is CD? What is CD? So we're trying to find this guy. Uh, we know that. We know that we have, we have the big triangle that we can use. We have the little triangle that we can use. So we can say that AD over CD is equal to CD over BD. So we have 6.4 over CD is equal to CD over 3.6 <coughs> cross multiply and CD squared is equal to 23.04 and CD is equal to 4.8 try it Use ABCD or ABC. <laughs> what is CD? 
So same thing that we did last time. We can say that we can say that AD over CD is equal to CD over BD. Plug in some stuff, and you would get you get 15 over CD is equal to CD over 5 plus multiply. CD squared is equal to 75, and the square root, square root of 75 is 8.7, 8.7. Here we can use the value you found for CD to find AC and CD. Pythagorean. And more proportions. All right, here's your list. When stuff is due, hope you have a wonderful day. See you, kids.